Come, my children, listen to a story of the old days, a story of your ancestors, and the strange jewel known as the Tsohar, created by Adonai himself and used to perform wonders. Now, you won't find the story in the Torah, not directly at least, but the Torah contains hints, whispers, seeds of other stories, those that might have happened. And who knows, maybe this one did. Now tell me, children, what was the first thing that Adonai created? Light, yes, that's right, beautiful light, blinding and glorious and splendid that Adonai wrapped himself in as a garment. This light contained the very presence of the Almighty, and it stretched across the entire earth so that everything that lived and moved and breathed upon the earth was in the light. So, too, did the light serve as clothing for Adam and Eve when they were first created, and so they dwelt and danced in the light of the presence of the Almighty, and it was very good. But then tragedy struck. For the wily snake deceived Adam and Eve and caused them to sin against the Holy One, and in that moment the light of heaven departed from the Garden of Eden never to return. Alas, cried Adam, though it is midday, it seems so dark. And the darkness only grew, for the Almighty cast Adam and Eve from the Garden of Eden, and paradise was lost. And yet Adonai was not without mercy. With his left hand, the Almighty plucked a diamond from the ground, for all stones in the Garden of Eden were precious jewels. And with his right hand, Adonai filled it with the light of his presence. This glowing gemstone he called the Tsohar, and he gave it to Adam as a remembrance of the past and as hope for the future. For some day, the presence of the Almighty would again dwell with his people. For generation after generation, the Tsohar was passed down until it came to righteous Noah. For is it not recorded in the Torah that Adonai commanded Noah to put the Tsohar in the ark? And thus it provided light for him and for the animals for forty days and nights, while rain fell on the earth. And so the Tsohar came in time to righteous Avram and to Yitzhak, who by its power was given a dream of angels ascending and descending into heaven, and finally to Yosef. Now Yosef's brothers were filled with jealousy, since their father Yitzhak loved Yosef best, and so they sold their brother into slavery. But Yosef's brothers did not know about the power of the Tsohar, and so they did not take it away from him. And as he was carried away, Yosef held the jewel close and cried out in his heart, Adonai, remember your promises to me and be with me, I pray, though I go to a land that knows you not. And he heard a still, small voice whispering to him, Fear not, Yosef, for my presence is always with you, and I shall speak to you through my light, even in the deepest darkness. And indeed, Yosef discovered that if he dropped the Tsohar into a goblet of wine, he could see visions from Adonai on the liquid's surface. And so he rose to be the Pharaoh's second in command, for by the light of Adonai nothing was hidden from Yosef. He became known as a diviner, an interpreter of dreams, and even a seer of the future, for so he was through the power of the Tsohar. By the wisdom given to him by Adonai, Yosef kept the Tsohar secret and did not pass it on to his sons, but instructed that it be buried with him. And thus the light of Adonai was hidden for four hundred years, until the Almighty sent Moshe to lead his people out of Egypt and to bring the bones of Yosef with them. And at the instructions of Adonai, Moshe took the Tsohar from the body of Yosef and placed it in the tabernacle by the Ark of the Covenant. And there it glowed more brightly than before and never dimmed, for as promised, the presence of the Almighty had again come to dwell with his people. And so it is even now that an eternal light burns in every synagogue above every ark, for the presence of the Almighty dwells with his people in his holy word to this very day. And as for the Tsohar itself, who knows? Perhaps Mashiach will be wearing it around his neck when he appears, or perhaps you will find it yourself some day when you are older. Shalom, my children, and Adonai guard your steps.